Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a Twitch chat overlay to OBS Studio. There's a couple different ways that we can add a Twitch chat overlay to OBS. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use both CapChat by Night Dev and also the Streamlabs chat box widget. So let's get started. All right. So first I'm going to show you guys how to set up CapChat, which is developed by Night Dev. Pretty easy. Takes a couple clicks. So we're going to click this get it button. Then we're going to type in our channel name. And then there's a couple options here. You can have it where the text fades out after a certain amount of time. Uh, you can show bot messages, uh, prevent clipping. Um, then here you can select your chat theme. You can play around each one of these two and just figure out which one works best for you. Uh, for this guide, I'll be using the dark chat theme. And let's go ahead and if you wanted to, you could also preview it as well just to see what it looks like. Close that. And next you'll want to come down here and hit generate. So this is your generated URL. This is where you're going to copy the entire URL. And now let's hop over to OBS and let's create a browser source. Okay. And with OBS open, let's select the scene that we want to place our Twitch chat overlay into. And then we're going to go to the sources of that scene, right click in this empty space here hover over add and then select browser. I'm just going to give this the name of chat and in the URL field here, that's where you're going to paste that link that we got from the cap chat website. You can also change the width and the height of the chat box as well. Uh, let's go ahead and click OK. And you can see connecting to the server is connected. And now it is going to post our chat here. So just to give you guys an example of what it looks like, bam, my own chat here. You would never think I'm 37 years old. All right, there you go. What if we want to make this look a little bit cleaner, huh? Let's go ahead and double click on our browser source again. And in the properties down towards the bottom, you're going to see where it says custom CSS. And here you can actually enter in a hex color key to select a specific color that you want to have as your background. I'm going to punch a bunch of random stuff in here and hope that we get a good color because I don't know hex key color codes by heart. Uh, let's do 99. Oh, that, that is a, that is a hideous color. So <laughs> don't ever, don't ever use that hex key color code, please. Um, all right. So yeah, it looks okay. Right. But what if we wanted to do a little bit more? I would suggest using the free 3D effect plugin for OBS Studio. I'll place a link to this plugin down in the description of the video. So I've already went and downloaded and installed this bad boy. So let's go back over to OBS. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your browser source again. You're going to right click, select filters, and then you're going to hit this plus sign, select your 3D effect, and leave it as is. And really just play around with it, see what works best for you. You can change the field of view on it. Um, you can change which uh, axis you want to choose the rotation on. So if I wanted to add like a cool little curve to my chat, give that nice little 3D effect, you can do that. Uh, if you wanted to tilt it from side to side, you could do that as well. Uh, even tilt it from front to back. And that is it. That's how you set up a Twitch chat overlay using CapChat. Next, I'll show you guys how to set it up using Streamlabs chat box widget. So this is Streamlabs website. If you do not have an account, go ahead and sign in and create one using your Twitch credentials. And then we're going to go and jump into our dashboard. To the left of our dashboard under essentials, we're going to select all widgets. There are two sections. You can find the chat box. You can find it under the our favorites, or if you scroll down here, you can find it under all as well. So it's very similar premise to cap chat. We're going to select from a lot of the options here, and then we're going to copy the widget URL and post that into a browser source, much like we did with the CapChat overlay. Uh, I just also wanted to point out here that where Streamlabs definitely has a leg up is they have, you can pick different themes. So if you wanted clean, you wanted box text, uh, you can also select chunky text, chunky, just like me. Uh, you can also show badges, bit badges. You can enable better TTV emotes, a lot of really cool options to play with. Also, you can select a different font size, which I think is pretty cool, opposed to actually having to resize the box like you have to do with CapChat. Um, you can also hide uh, specific chatters, muted chatter, set a delay, a lot of different tools to play with in this thing, which makes it pretty cool. Uh, once you have all the checkboxes selected that you wish, 
up here next to the widget URL, you're going to select copy. And as it states, don't share that URL with anybody. And now let's slide over to OBS. All right, and with OBS open, once again, let's go ahead and select the scene that we wish to place our Twitch chat overlay into. Let's go ahead and right click in sources, hover over add, select browser again, name it chat, and paste that Streamlabs widget box URL there. You can once again, change the height and width if you wish. Uh, I would not suggest trying to change the background though. For some reason, Streamlabs is, is, is kind of weird about that, so. Uh, and there we go. You do not get a notification that it has joined your chat. So here we are. We're going to do the official Dweeb Hub uh, chat overlay test to make sure it's working. As you can tell, text a little clear, pops a little bit more. Um, also, it's a little bit animated, which is nice. Uh, a little bit cleaner than the cap chat. So, and that's going to do it. Now you guys know how to place a Twitch chat overlay inside of OBS. If you guys found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you prefer a written version of this tutorial, go ahead and look in the description. I place a link to my website that goes over these exact same steps. But other than that, get out of here. Go start streaming. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good night or, or, or day. I love you. Bye.
And then we're going to take our widget URL and paste it. I deserve that. 